What's going on guys? AJ here from Colorado Fisher with Noah back there. Colorado Fishing Attic, make sure you follow him. Today we came out to one of our favorite lakes riding the snowmobiles. As you can tell, things just went perfect. Uh, the bite was really finicky, so we barely got any fish, but we got some to say the least. So I hope you guys enjoy the show and we'll see you next time. Take it easy. Alright guys, so we found our depth we're looking for, about 73 feet of water. Haven't marked anything, but haven't dropped down. We got the uh, Jason Mitchell hut here. We're going to start here, and uh, if we don't mark anything in about 15 minutes, we're going to move around and try to just hit different depths here. So you will see how it goes. Today's high is 23 degrees with 5 mile an hour wind, and it's going to be overcast, which is just what we're looking for. Alright, I'm going to go with this 3 inch pearl white tube jig. Alright guys, first drop in a year. For lake trout. No, I had one on him. And I think I have one coming right off the bottom for me. Yes, I do. Let's see if he'll take. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. Oh, he hit. He hit right away. Feels great already. Yeah, I had a hit right away there, Noah. You see how he's following me there? When I raise, he comes right after. I lower it to him. He's that yellow solid. Won't come at. Oh, no, no. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up, he's coming up. Subtle. 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 Got him! We got him! Oh my god. I don't know how big this one is, guys. Oh, I lost him. He broke me off. Yeah. Shall we go find some willing fish? Well, all right, guys, it's time to do my horseshoe, cover some depth, figure things out where they might be and whatnot. We started at about 78 feet, and I'm gonna go a little shallower. Let's see where the ice is at. Uh, I think we got about eight inches. I got a fish on me. Got him. Nope. He got off. Oh, again. I'm dropping the other one and maybe he'll hit braid. I'm about. Got him. He got tangled in my other line, but I got him. Oh yeah, guys. I don't know if it's big, probably not, but he got tangled in my other one. Just trying to kind of, trying to entice him. Probably nothing big. Don't feel heavy at all, but hey. Oh, he hit that pink tube though, boys. He hit that pink tube. There we go. Oh, there's a storm rolling in right there. Kind of a calm storm, so we're gonna keep fishing. All right, guys, there's more fish down there. Uh, we're gonna go down there. We're in about 48 feet of water. Pink tube jig, it's about three uh, inch, 3.75, I think actually. Pink uh, tube salt pepper uh, pattern and uh, dip with some sucker meat. Uh, really is the key of the day, so. Well, let's see if we can get another. All right, guys, we're gonna get down there as fast as we can. There's more fish to be caught. He hit. I got two or three on me and one took a bite. It's snowing pretty good. It's that great chase. It's frustrating yet fun. We're gonna have to land this one with our hand. Oh my God, no, the freaking thing is all tangled. <laughs> I don't usually land fish with my hand, but that's uh, uh, gonna have to happen here. Oh, oh, he wants to run. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully it's not a 30 incher, because uh, we're not landing that. But luckily it wasn't, it's a little 17 incher. 
as you guys can see, you know, they're a little medium size. <laughs> the bite is a, a finicky one today. It ain't easy getting into these fish, but we're trying. Losing them just as easy. I mean, losing them as easy as I'm marking them, so it's really been a challenge. They're just so, such a finesse bite. I cannot explain, guys. I, I, I've tried everything. Like, I mean, it's ridiculous how tough they are to catch today. What a beautiful fish. What a beauty. So there you guys go. Already I see some more. It looks cool, but it really isn't. It's actually pretty nice out. So there you have it, just uh, three fish. Couldn't get any more, lost a nice one. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. We'll see you later.